2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is proud to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. We're at the Valero Texas Open. Today's coverage is about to kick off. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. Welcome to Texas. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam and we're in your backyard. Well, very close to it anyway, San Antonio, Texas. And this golf course, TPC San Antonio, was designed by Greg Norman. And it's got plenty of challenges, hasn't it? It certainly does. I got to say, Greg Norman must have been in a slightly cranky mood when he designed this golf course because it is so difficult. There's not a lot of rough, but once you miss the fairways, there's all sorts of damage to be had. Anyone can remember Kevin Na in the 16? I do. I was playing right away, but he finally came out after about 12 whacks, made a 16, and on he went. I have to say this is the most challenging golf course I've played on tour, especially when it gets windy. It's very tough. It's challenging. But when it doesn't blow, it can be a lot of fun. All in all, you better bring it. Either that or the golf course is going to get the best of you. But best of all, if you survive and you're the champion after 17 holes, they give you a nice pair of boots. Yeehaw! Giddy up, y'all! Let's get down to the action. That should find the surface. A good opportunity here, just six feet to the hole. Welcome to the course. Absolutely. Love to see those going in early. It sets the tone for the rest of the day. Currently one under for the day. Making birdie in the first always puts you in a good frame of mood. It'll be fun to watch the round progress. I'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last. Let's see if they can deliver another one.
This one looks to be heading for the sanctuary of the fairway. Luke, unfortunately, that got a horrible kick. Ended up in the rough. Well, that's a handy shot. And here we are with the third shot. This putt coming up is for Birdie. Good looking putt. Well, nicely done. Holds the putt for back to back birdies. Gotta like it. Two in a row. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after that effort. Teeing off here at the third hole. Going with the five iron here. Oh, this one's right down the pipe. What a shot. Almost went in the bucket. Well, that'll work up on the dance floor. Could have been worse. He's already made a few birdies today. And this is another good look. Looking better. Well done. Take the birdie. And that makes him tied for first. Moving up the leaderboard. I like it. Seeing off here at the fourth. It looked like it came out of a cannon. That's great momentum. Going with the eight iron here. This one looks like it'll safely make the green. Oh, that one's absolutely stiff. A sensational shot and a chance for a birdie here on the four. A chance to move deeper under the card. This putts for four under.
it's tracking you can mark it down that's birdie number four today and with that he'll move to four under par still in the lead now after that hole oh and they increase their lead this is impressive luke but can they hold up this play Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich. And right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave. Knock it on with the driver. If you lay back with an iron, a very straightforward pitch. But I just don't see the players wanting to lay up. That's heading for the fairway. Uh, Luke, I gotta, I gotta say, I love your positive vibes, but unfortunately, that one has ended up in the bunker. Oh, that's great! It just missed the hole. Yes, fantastic stuff. Gotta say, well done, birdie guaranteed. Thank you. This one has eyes for the hole. I like that kind of fight. That shows resilience. It was off the tee with their tee shot. Nice save indeed. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. Morning, dude. Here we are at the sixth hole. Morning. Good looking shot, this. Time for the second shot here at the sixth. Great ball striking. It's a thing of beauty. I tell you, you just dream about days like today. Greens and regulation spot on all day. Awesome. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Get excited. This could go in. And that putt will drop. And he'll extend his lead. And that will move him to six under par. And now that finds him in first place. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. back there horsey opportunity to make their par a 
It's got a chance. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. And after that hole, you're now three shots clear of Patrick Cantley. Here we have a par five. Is it time to get after it or play it safe? That was absolutely murdered. <laughs> Challenging golf course. Chance for players to play their way into the first major of the year. Absolutely. And it's a challenging opportunity, but it's an opportunity nonetheless. It's not an easy golf course. In fact, at times, players will walk off the golf course scratching their head and sometimes even going back in the locker room and kind of whimpering and, and licking their wounds because it can absolutely hammer you. But in saying that, it's tough for everybody. So if you're mentally tough, you can handle it. It's a golf course that doesn't give you very much. You can't expect to hit it bad and get away with it. You've got to go out there and earn every single ounce of it. It is a golf course, though, that if you do conquer it, if you do have success, it gives you a massive, massive boost going into the rest of the season because you know that you can play well at a difficult venue. That's the confidence that'll get you. It's, it's a golf course that when you show up to, Luke, you better know what you're getting yourself into because if you don't, if you go in with high expectations, it's going to knock you down a rung or two. You've left yourself a long way between the holes, so let's get this one close. Just didn't drop. There's part of about six feet coming up. Nice stroke. Well done. Currently three strokes up after that hole. We've arrived at a par four hole. Yeah, this is a quality looking shot, this one. That should find the short stuff. Taking aim from about 170 yards. Opting for the six iron. That's well played. Anything on the green from there was fine. Slim chance here for birdie, but you never know. Looking great now. That's outstanding. What a putt. And that will take him to seven under. That shot's so good. We need to have another look. This is the transition point of the round, making the turn, heading for home. How do you rate this player's performance so far? 
Always great to be in the lead, Luke. There's no doubt about it. But let's face it, lots of golf yet to be played. Let's see how this player handles it. Well, this should find the short grass. Sitting at minus seven, currently leading. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. Wow, what a shot. And this one for back-to-back -back birdies. Just nine feet remaining to the hole. Short game has been absolutely fantastic today. This one's tracking. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. You've reached the 11th hole, and the tee is yours. This looks to be heading for the cut stuff. Here we have the second shot into the 11th. Oh, what a gorgeous looking shot that is, Rich. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Almost a gimme birdie there, Luke. Fantastic. A good stroke. A well hold. He'll take the birdie. And this is quality play. Still on top of the leaderboard. You've arrived at a par four. Oh, well done. And this shot here coming up from around 130 yards. Going with the 9-iron, I think. You like that, didn't you? Let's see if we can make this big putt for birdie. This one looking really good. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. And down it goes. Now seven strokes up after that hole.
Ah, threes are always fun. See if he can knock it close. Oh, well played. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Well, that should limit the damage. Nicely done. Currently 10 under for the round. Let's see what happens here at the 14th. Look, this player coming off a birdie on the last hole, getting some momentum going. Wow, that was just striped. Now, man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? Well, guys, it's in the first cut, and it's it's kind of like down into it too. So, you're gonna need to do a fair bit of work to get out of here. Going with a three wood here. Getting ready to play their third. That almost went down. Nice soft hands around the green. What a skill to have. Just eyeballing that one, trying to make it. They're lining up the birdie putt here. And another one goes. And with it, an increase of his lead. Gotta like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. And just keeping it in neutral on the leaderboard. Teeing off here at the 15th hole. Looks like this one's heading safely for the fairway. Lining up from around 160 yards. Looks to be going with the six iron. That was never really a comfortable shot for them, was it? Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. He has this putt to save his par.
Not a bad line, this. Good putt, that. Our current leader is enjoying an eight-stroke advantage. Let's see what happens here at the 16th. Only one other place I can think of, and that is the 6th at Riviera. A larger green than the 6th, but bunkers galore. Watch out for the one right in the middle. Going with the 6 iron here. Oh, that's a high caliber shot. And John, uh, how long's this putt? It seems to be a fair way. Well, from the from my viewpoint, at least, looks around 29 feet. Wow, that's misjudged. This putt is of nine feet. This one started out on a good line. Solid par putt, that. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. As we get down the stretch here at TPC San Antonio, there's a number of options that can be taken. This 17th's a fascinating hole. Luke, if it's playing downwind, a driver is a must. If it's back into the wind, take out the iron for safety. The power play, you gotta love it. Just a missile of a tee shot right onto the green. This is a good chance. Oh, super putt that, what an eagle. currently in first position well that really puts our leader way out in front of the pack now and it's only the first round well while the closing hole at tpc san antonio can be reached in too rich it's all set up by the tee shot tee shot must find the fairway if not you have water hazards left and bunkers right that will gobble up that second shot if you're slightly out of position not a bad line this one Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Well struck. And here we are with the third shot. That's some good golf right there. 
good chance this one right on six feet oh so close and they'll walk away with a par on this one and just a tap in to finish the day So there you have it, in the house, in top spot after the opening round. Everyone likes to get off to a fast start, and they certainly have. Oh, it's been sparkling, hasn't it? It's been a pleasure to watch. It's got to be a little strange, though, having such a massive lead because there's only one way to go, and that's down. Let's see how they handle the pressure on the final round. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. I'm Luke Elvey, and on behalf of Ridge Beam, plus all the hard-working folks at HB Studios, it's good night for now.
2K Sports, delighted to bring you all the action here from the PGA Tour. Today's coverage of the Valero Texas Open is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this final round action. I'm Luke Elvey, here alongside Rich Beam. And Rich, it's the final round in this one. What's our next player dealing with as they start their round? Should be a lot of nerves. They got the lead. They've been sleeping on it overnight. That is never an easy thing to do. Almost an uncomfortable situation at times, but they are playing well, so they have that confidence going into the final round. But this is going to be a tough afternoon ahead. Can't wait to get into the action. Very excited to see how this player fares today. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Second shot here on the first.
Well, this one's right at the pin. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the first. Nine feet to the cup. Wow, they certainly got out of the right side of bed today. Oh, that settles the nerves right there. Great stuff. Well, Rich, that's got to feel good. Opening the first with an underpar score. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And after a birdie at the last, they take the honour on the hole. Well, I like the look of the line here. They should find the fairway. Second shot on the second. Interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's a tremendous shot and sets up a wonderful opportunity. Always like the aggressive play going forward in two and get rewarded for it. This is from miles away. Get in. Oh, that's frustrating. Well, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. That sets a positive tone for the player, doesn't it? Currently 15 under par for the event. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Always positive coming off a birdie. Let's see what happens here. Oh, what a shot. You'll take that. Oh, that's a lovely looking shot into birdie range here at the third. Of all the shots that I like the most, that one ranks right up there. It starts off on a good line. And that will drop in for birdie. He sits in first position. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Let's see what happens here on the fourth. That one's heading down Broadway. Nothing like a bit of momentum here, Rich. This one's going for another birdie. It's a good start to the day. Let's hope they can keep up the good form. Hey. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. This putt just five feet away from the hole. Hey. 
And with that, that's their fourth birdie. Got to say, putting this well from this distance is a huge confidence booster. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Oh, well struck. This drive's heading for the fairway in my eyes. That's great momentum. Four birdies on the trot. Yeah, good swing. This one's heading up onto the green for sure. That's well played. Pin high. That's the mark of a ball striker. Good look at a birdie here. Looking good. Mark it down. That's birdie number five. Luke, I don't know if you know this or not, but nothing rolls like a ball. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. It's time to begin this powerful hole. Out a boy, good shot. Second shot here on the sixth. <laughs> Wonderfully played. Oh, this is a long way from downtown, but you're closer. John, what's he got in front of him? About 26 feet from here, I'd say. Looking really good. And he just keeps putting a gap on the rest of the field. What a putt to hole. Well, that's worth a replay. Let's take another look. He's currently sitting in first place. And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. And coming off the birdie, they'll be proud of themselves, a chance to keep it rolling. Going with the five wood. Hoping for a bounce here, preferably to the left. Yeah. Left yourself an opportunity. Well, this will be a bonus right on 17 feet from here.
Looks like they just forgot to hit it, Rich. Sometimes when you try and get it up the hill, you just forget to hit it sometimes, and seems so in this case. Looks good off the blade. And there it is. Still in the lead now after that hole. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Just a couple to play here on the opening nine. Here's the tee shot at the eighth. Pretty good shot there. Uh, it's a brave one. Driver off the deck. Setting up from the first cut here in the green. Yeah, they parred this hole yesterday, but from easier circumstances today, a little more difficult, but still doable. This one's for Birdie. is underway oh what a round this is seven birdies today no movement up or down on the leaderboard for this player and i don't give the rest of the field much hope today our leader is way out in front in this final round i'm pretty sure this player will be buoyed by that birdie back at the last let's see if they can deliver another one Oh, that is crushed. And this shot from about 150 yards out. Game of the seven. Has got this thing dialed in here. Looking good. Oh, that's well played. And a chance for Birdie here at the ninth. Three feet to go here to the hole. Dee's making this look easy. Keeps surging ahead. Gotta like it. Two in a row. It's a lofty position this player has held all tournament, but what a buffer they've built with just nine to play. <laughs> so impressive all week long. I got to say, this player is on top of the golfing world at the moment. Now this one looks to be heading down the runway. This spot looks awfully familiar. Didn't they play here yesterday? Same spot as yesterday. Will they have the same results today? Chosen the pitching wedge here. Anywhere up on that dance floor would be nice. Got to admire that talent. Just green after green in regulation. Dare I say, Luke, this player has been in fuego with his approach shots. Another green in regulation. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. Look at him just surging ahead at the top of the leaderboard. And still in top spot after that hole. Keep it going. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. You've arrived 
at a par four. Step up to the tee and own it. Oh, good drive. That one should find the fairway. Coming off a string of three birdies. Looks to have opted for the eight iron. That's an absolute ripper. What a shot. And just about eight feet left to the hole. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. got a chance oh so close well this would be a good one to make it's for par and that puddle drop well done currently in first position and I don't give the rest of the field much hope today our leader is way out in front in this final round teeing off here on the 12th hole Oh, that was pummeled into submission. Isn't this where they hit from yesterday? Same spot as yesterday, looking for the same result today. Well, good looking shot here. That's headed towards the green. Outstanding approach shot. Oh, these are good for the momentum, these ones. Right on eight feet. That's half a chance of being hold this one. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard. And I don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action. Ooh, we're at the par three here. I love these holes. Oh, absolutely flushed. What an opportunity to make a birdie. Oh, nice looking putt. And with that putt hold, it's back-to-back -back birdies. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. 
And I don't give the rest of the field much hope today. Our leader is way out in front in this final round. Wow, that was just striped. Playing this shot from about 230 yards out. He may be thinking about going for the green here. attention folks that's how you play golf might well, it be nice to make this one this one's for eagle and that putt will drop and he'll extend his lead and now that finds him in first place and i don't know if the rest of the field is up for catching them here today in this final round of action let's see what happens here on the 15th That should find the fairway. Looks like a similar approach to yesterday. Unfortunately, it is the same as yesterday. Hopefully, they've put the results yesterday away. Looks to have chosen the seven iron. How close was that to going in the hole? Great shot. That's a great shot here at the 15th. It sets up a look for birdie. Eight feet to the cup. Steady now. And that should secure the par. Well done. And after that effort, this is how the field is shaping up. Ooh, that is some pretty good breathing room. Out in front by a bunch. So no change on the leaderboard for this player after that hole. Three holes remaining, folks. Hang on to your hats. This. Looks to be going with the five iron. Never seen a scorecard that doesn't look good with a two on it. Not sure if they understood the lie of the land there, Rich. This putt about 11 feet in distance. This one's online. Oh, just missed. Let's try and make this one. Only dropped the one shot. Well, that's a little untimely. 
their first bogey of the tournament. Just one bogey, that's okay, but you don't want this to becoming a habit. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Two holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? Looks like they put a good swing on that one. That should find the short stuff. Second shot here on the 17th. just missed the hole well there's a very good reason why he's leading this tournament and that's exhibit a five feet coming up to the cup well what a way to bounce back nice putt to hole he's currently sitting in first place and i don't give the rest of the field much hope today our leader is way out in front in this final round well, what a lovely position to be in, holding the lead, playing the last. Good luck. What a gargantuan tee shot. Well, that's right out of the top drawer. A great shot from our leader. Wow. There's a lot of power in that one. Bombed. The interesting choice of the driver here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using the big boy muscles to get it home in two there. All right, let's keep the focus here. This is to win the event. That's the right pace. This should drop. Ooh, just hammer that through the line. Hold this part here and you'll sign off at a 58. Well, any victory in the Lone Star State is one her joy. Congratulations to our Valero Texas Open winner. I got to say, this was a tough, a hard-earned victory. The conditions out there this week were brutal all around. And they know it. And I got to say that I, I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful, sexy pair of boots they are. A little jealous, but, you know... I got a bunch of pair at my house too, so. Well, that just about concludes our coverage. On behalf of Rich Beam, I'm Luke Elvey. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you tomorrow.